Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. I humble myself before the princess of Osalona Kingdom. May the peace of the palace remain with you forever. I wish you the same, Obeluzo. You asked to see me. Yes, my princess. I... I have something I want to tell you. <clears throat> but, um... It is very important, um... But it's very difficult in my mouth. <laughs> Isn't this funny? You mean you actually booked an appointment to see me simply to waste my time? Not exactly, my princess. I came here to register my displeasure with your relationship with Claudio. I am not comfortable with it at all. Excuse me? What gave you the right to utter such reckless statements about my relationship with my boyfriend? Even in my presence, have you gone nuts? I am sorry, my princess. I didn't mean to get you angry. I didn't actually mean it that way. Just that, my spirit always calls him very low each time he comes visiting. And I understand the meaning of such low score. That is why I really want my princess to be very careful. to talk about Obeluzu. Why is that? Yes. There's something about that guy of yours. How do you mean? I feel he has some mystic powers. <coughs> Why would you say such? My princess. That god of yours saved me from one idiot I called a boyfriend. You know, we were dating and I thought we would get married. But after every, everything I did for him, that god of yours helped me uncover a lot of things about him. You know, and each time I see him, I feel indebted to him. Stella, you're, you're confusing me. What are you saying? Greetings to the beautiful friend of the princess. Greetings to you, Obelenzo. To so what do I owe this accolade? I have been seeing you with the princess, and I can tell authoritatively that you are a good friend. And that is why I am going to tell you this. Desist from following that your boyfriend, for he is not worthy of the trust you give him. My boyfriend? I don't understand you, Belenzo. Where is this coming from? It doesn't matter where this is coming from. The most important thing here is the message. That young man is not good enough for you. If you doubt me, go to his house by noon tomorrow. You will see what will make you believe what I just told you. If you fail to find anything, let me not see the light of tomorrow. Why are you swearing about this? Men who are men will go to any extent to prove their points. Have a wonderful day, the beautiful friend of the princess. Was so emphatic that day. This is surprising. My princess, 
When I got home that day, I was so restless that I became very feverish. And the idiot was calling me on countless times. I said we knew that that guy told me something about him. But you know something? I did not take his call. But I could not wait till noon, so I said, okay, I'll go to his house. But due to my mood that day, I said I wouldn't drive. I got a cab. And when I got to his house, my princess, I met the shock of my life just at his doorstep. See, you cannot terminate the pregnancy. It's not called for. We have a plan. This thing will spoil the plan. Are you more concerned about the damn plan than your life or the life of the born child? Baby, this pregnancy will blow things up for us. Let us just concentrate on how to get money from Stella. Forget about the pregnancy now. Let her we can make babies. Listen to me. Stella already knows who you are. And as long as I'm concerned, Stella sees you as my cousin. So even if she finds out that you're pregnant, I mean, we can always tell her that your boyfriend is responsible. And Stella, I know, will never ask to see your boyfriend. You cannot take care of this pregnancy now. We both are jobless. You claim to be a contractor. For the past how many years now, you've not earned yourself a single contract. To be frank with you, I cannot handle the pregnancy now. Baby, Stella is very intelligent. With this pregnancy, she will uncover our gains. Do you even listen to yourself? I mean, do you listen to what you are saying? Stella is very intelligent like you claim. So if she's as intelligent as you claim, why hasn't she uncovered those sins? Listen to me. This pregnancy will not be terminated and that is final. Bravo. Excellent. So, after all this why, you both take me as a fool. But you know what? Both of you are the bigger fools. Uh, uh, Stella, see, I can explain. It is not what you think at yes, all. Yes, yes, of course. You can explain. It is not what I think, but it is what I know. Listen, I heard everything. But you know what pains my heart? It is not about you being a very useless fool. It is about my time that I've wasted with you. You don't mean it, my princess. That Obelenzo saved me from that froster. Please, I want you to watch how you treat him. Take everything he says to you very seriously. I had to come straight to the palace to say thank you to him for saving me that day. I, and, and each time I see him, I still want to do something. I think I've not done enough. Please. You mean all this happened in the palace? And I never knew. Now listen to me and listen good. This is the last time you will be that useless searchlight on my relationship with Claudio. The next time you try such nonsense, I won't take it lightly with you. I am sorry, my precious. You may excuse yourself. My princess, you have a call from the doctor. Oh. Uh, hello, Dr. Benjamin. How is my father doing? What? 
Okay, uh, I'll be there right away. Thank you. Um, His Royal Majesty, Ezenkenkenyi of Ozaluna Kingdom, father to the princess, has been in the intensive care unit of the hospital. He has been battling with leukemia. my name with some sense of class. I am not here for this nonsense. I saw the princess through the window, leaving through the exit staircase and driving out in a hurry. Where is she going? To the hospital. Dr. Benjamin called. I think the king's condition has gone bad. Hold on. Dr. Benjamin called and talked about the health of the king. Why didn't you bring the phone to me? Am I not the king's personal assistant? He specifically asked me to take the phone to the princess, and I had to take it to her. Now listen to me. Listen to me very carefully. Next time the doctor calls, bring the phone straight to me. Don't you ever go direct to the princess. Have I made myself clear? Yes. Am I understood? Yes. What, 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 is, what have I done wrong now? Eh? Dr. So Benjamin called, said I should go and give the princess the phone. You are telling me that I should go and give you the phone. I was just trying to be obedient to Dr. Benjamin. Doctor, I confirmed from the palace that you were the one that called the princess. And I'm not denying that either. I invited her yesterday when the king's condition became too bad, actually to donate blood, because she's the one that has the blood that matches that of the king. So what happened eventually? Mm. She was speeding. She was over speeding. And her uh, car somersaulted severally, according to eyewitness account. And uh, when she was rushed in here, we did our best. But, um, yes, the bad news. Bad news? What bad news, Doctor? What are you talking about? The princess might not be able to see again. Oh, my God. What did you just say? That's not all. What again, Doctor? What? We equally lost the king in the process. The king gave up the ghost on hearing the princess's predicament. This is bad news. Of this is really sad. <sighs> but I believe um, she will pull through this with you by her side. Mr. Claudio, accept my sympathy. But please try and help her pull through this. It's one of the vicissitudes of a mortal existence. I'm sure with you by her side, she'll be through all this. I'm really sorry about that. Huh?
How are you doing, my princess? Oh, very well, Uno. Thank you. Um, Uno of our land. I want to say a very big thank you for the role you and the other council members played during the burial of my father. You know, I thought I would be helpless, but surprisingly, everything turned out good. I'm really grateful. Is that why you invited me to your house? There's no reason to thank me or all the other men in the cabinet. You see, His Royal Majesty, as in King Kenny of Ozaluno, was our king. And he, we had to give him the last respect that he deserves. No need to thank us. Thank you all the same. You see, apart from being the unknown, your father was my best friend. It is my duty to play that fatherly role to you. So if you need anything, anything at all, or you need clarification on any issue, do not hesitate to contact me. You're such a good man. Thank you. But not to worry. I'll contact you if anything comes up. And actually, you have summed up the meeting because everything I intended to say to you are the same thing you just promised. Thank you very much. I'm grateful. You're welcome, my princess. I'll take my leave. Very well, then. Go where you go. Okay. Have a nice day. You too. you to take very good care of this palace and uh, monitor the princess so that she doesn't make mistakes. I understand, you know, I, I will do my best. Just that I am really devastated about what happened. If you, who bore the cup of the king, can be this devastated, what do you want others to do? Look, Monitor the princess and make sure she doesn't make mistakes on key issues. Okay? Thank you very much, Ono. Thank you for what you've done and what you are still doing. I'll, I'll do my best. Good, good. And uh, if there's anything you need or if anything comes up that needs my attention, do not hesitate to call me. I'll do just that. Thank you. Opana, that's good again. to what happened to me. I will be working from home from now. I am establishing a new administrative structure for the company. As the consultant that has been with us all these years, I will be needing your input. It's okay, Mr. Henshaw. I'll be expecting your call. Thank you. Obeluzu, is that you? Uh, yes, my princess. I am wondering if there is anything I can do for you. Um, there are softwares Benson sent from the UK 
softwares I'll be installing on my system to help you monitor the company from home. Please be kind enough to get a tracking number and also monitor the shipments. Please. I'm on it already, Princess. Hello, Beth. There are challenges I have faced as the princess of Azalona. But this is the climax. I am sure you understand the princess's current health status now. Yes, I do. It's really sad that the princess lost her sight almost the same time she lost her father. She must be really traumatized now. It is a good thing you understand this. It only implies one thing. You must put in your best in serving the princess. You must always try to put smiles on her face no matter what. It is our duty and everybody in this palace must show her more love and care. Yes, I know. Even without you telling me, I have already decided that this is what I must do for her. And one thing, Uju. If you notice anything, please, please, do not hesitate to alert me. I will do just that. Now, go. The princess might need you. All right. Princess Kalesta, the good daughter of a good man. I will never allow you feel this pain. I will not. The princess specifically invited me to the palace today to thank me for the role we all played during the king's uh, burial ceremony. Are you serious? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> How did she thank you? Uh, she thanked me the way someone who wants to thank people will thank them. Or were you expecting something else? Honestly, whenever you speak, I wonder the kind of Olu who we have in this hour's uh, kingdom. Hmm? Please, mind your language. You know, I hate to be insulted. I'm sorry if you feel insulted. But I'm telling you the truth. What truth? I'm sorry if I insulted you. Or you feel I insulted you. But I'm telling you the truth. What truth? We all assisted in burying the king. And the princess invited you alone. I expect that all of us in council would have been invited to be thanked. We have food and drinks would have been just for the asking. Hmm? No. Are you aware that the princess suddenly went blind? This princess is in pains. This princess lost her father. And that is the same person you are expecting to throw a party for all of us. You know, Zikwe? Oh, no, one of me. It's not about the princess hosting us. It behoves the entire royal family to host us. As a matter of fact, it's Prince Benson that would have spearheaded this if he didn't rush back to London. That is it. So what are you talking about? It's a royal business. No, no. You are not a hungry man. Hmm? Let us forget about this and discuss ways to move our great kingdom forward. 
Ça n'a pas eu dans son pipeau. Mmh. Is the princess in? Where else is the princess supposed to be if not her father's house? Are you right? How dare you reply me with such undertone? I should be asking you that. If you sincerely want to see the princess, you know where to find her. Do not ask me, I am not your subordinate here. Wait a minute. Have you gone nuts? Are you drunk? Huh? The ill-mannered visitor who does not greet the palace keeper does not deserve a royal respect. Learn that today, or I will have a reason to teach you the same lesson again. What? I'm ill, man. I'm right here. Oh. Walk with me. There you go. No, you don't need this anymore. Okay. I'll be your eyes right now. There you go. Step by step. We're almost there. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now turn around. And then. There. Good. Perfect. Mm. doing great. And you? Oh, I'm much better, knowing full well that you're doing just fine. Oh, that is good to hear. Um, that guard of yours, why is he always acting like someone that is insane? You know, like someone that is local. Who? Obeluzu? Yes, yeah, small Ozu, or whatever they call him. You need to put a check on that guy. Forget about him. He's like that sometimes. He is my late father's most trusted servant. Wow. Okay. That's fine. So, why did they leave you all alone? Are, are you alright? Have you had something to eat? No, but I just asked Uju to get me fruit salad. She'll mm. soon be here. Alright. Mm. Alright then, my princess. Mm. Why don't you relax completely? And allow me to massage your feet. Oh. There you go. <laughs> you pamper me too much. Oh, that's what I love to do the most. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at this feet. So elegant. <laughs> I feel like eating it, actually. <laughs> How does it feel? Good. Is the princess okay? The princess is fine, relax. Then why were you coming towards me wearing that face as if something has gone wrong? <laughs> you are funny. I'm not <laughs> Talking about seriousness, why did you talk to the princess's fiancé like that? It seems you don't like the guy. You're right. You are very right. You see, my spirit has refused to accept him. He is pretending to love the princess. I don't agree with you. 
Have you seen the way he showers the princess with so much love and care? Since any man who marries the princess stands the chance of becoming the next king, ah, I see him as a better choice for the princess. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all when you sound this way. You don't know anything. It is only the gods that know the next king of Ozalono. Sometimes the way Obeluzu reacts to things keeps me wondering. Is he a seer or what? Juliet is Claudio's real girlfriend, who he has been shitting with as he parades himself as boyfriend to the princess. Obeluzu is right after all. Claudio has no love for the princess. Hey, darling. Where have you been? Come on. Why are you sounding like you don't know where I'm coming from? Of course I know where you are coming from. You went to see the princess. Is that why you should spend the whole day there? Huh? Why are you sounding like this? Huh? You know I need to make myself available more often. Especially now in her present condition. Wait, wait. Do I sense jealousy from a woman who knows everything? I am not jealous. Um, well, maybe a little bit, but come on. Let's leave sympathy out of this. You need to use the opportunity and materialize our plans. Oh, oh, have you forgotten everything? Oh, hi, baby. Hey, baby. Wow. What is it? You don't look too good. You know I love you, right? <laughs> Is that what you were going to say? And you've had your face all tightened up. <laughs> you scared me right there. Of course I know you love me. But sometimes I don't feel that love is mutual. That's where my pain lies. Why would you say a thing like that? You're breaking my heart with your words. Really? If you say you love me as much as you do, why then would you sit back and watch me lose a lifetime opportunity? Why? Oh. I only asked you for 50 million now, and, 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 and you refused to give it to me. I didn't say you should dash me. Lend me the money, and I will pay back with interest. So why don't you just get a loan from the bank? With what collateral? Don't make a fool of me. Okay. I understand. But not to worry, I'll look into it. I want you to be happy. You give me the money? Well, maybe. I will give you the money. Okay? I'm okay with maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're happy. And Thank you forgot you, to give me a peck when you came in because you were so angry. So do the need for? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or maybe a kiss? No. Mm -hmm. No. Not yet? No. <laughs> Just a kiss. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, my love. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I am so happy. <laughs> I can't believe this. Yeah, baby. Mo money. <laughs> 
Cool cash. Yes, boo. New money. New money, baby. <laughs> baby. Yes. My love. Uh -huh. My boo boo. Yes, baby. She must really love you so much to give you such amount of money. Oh, poor her. Aww. She has no choice. Oh, <laughs> my love. You know what I'm talking about. My smart baby. <laughs> my sugar. Boo boo kitty. Woo. I cannot wait yes. to go to the club. <laughs> And to wreck it, baby. Ooh, to wreck it, baby. And I will give it to give it to give it to you. <laughs> baby. Shake it for me. Shake it for me. Shake it for me. Woo! We are rich! Woo! 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 I love money. I know, baby. I feel like doing something, baby. You're crazy. Come on, give it to me. You're so crazy. Oh, no, stop! Oh, my God! I'm fine. Well, I was actually out, going out. I have a meeting in an hour. You look stunning. Oh. Oh my goodness. I know. You look so beautiful. Thank you. That was a joke. <laughs> look, I don't want to waste your time, okay? I'm here for the check, so that I can meet up with my business partners. Really? You told me to come today, remember? Well, yes, I did ask you to come today, but um, not for the check, but to explain things to you. I don't understand. The thing is, I tried to pull that money from sundry places, but I couldn't. You know I can't pull such amount of money from our corporate accounts without due approvals. Claudio, I tried. I really did, but I couldn't raise the money. What am I supposed to do now? What do you expect me to do? Claudio, I know you're disappointed, but truly, I am sorry. Okay? Damn! I can't believe she, she, she changed her mind at the time minute. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Her reason didn't make sense to me. If she wanted to raise the money for me, she would have raised it with ease. So what do we do now? I know she will come back and apologize. Hmm. Then we give her something and map out another plan. My goodness. I mean, this is, this is just disappointing. I was already smelling the money. You know, planning on how to go for shopping and all that, buy expensive shit. This is so disappointing. It's okay, it's okay. Let's just be patient. Let's be patient. Thought princess. It's okay. It's all right. Listen, I am... Um, Honestly running out of patience. You, why does it seem as if the princess knows everything and she's just playing along? You need to act fast. It's, it's, it's looking as if the princess knows about our plans and she's just playing along. Calm down. Chill, baby. Okay? I'll walk out some. Oh no. This is beginning to sound to me like politics. And I'm not comfortable with it. Oh no, I'm not equally comfortable. In fact, I don't know what is going on. What is happening? Um, sorry, uh, you are not comfortable that we've not crowned Prince Benson King. I am not comfortable because we have not crowned a king. You see, you see why I said it is sounding to me like politics. If you don't want Benson to be crowned king. Who then are you talking about? What does Prince Benson know about that tradition? Eh? A small boy who has spent all his life in the UK. We need somebody who is grounded in the traditions and culture of Ozalona. We're not talking about boys' brigade here. Eh? 
Prince Benson has lived all his life in the UK. That small boy cannot manage the kingdom. He doesn't know anything about that tradition. The tradition of Ozaluno dictates that we will have seven years after the passage of a king before we crown another. And Prince Benson is the crown prince. <laughs> Are you talking about tradition, or are you talking about the real thing? That small boy cannot do anything. We are talking about somebody who knows the traditions and culture of our Zaluna. We need to move forward. I'm talking about small boys. I do not want to toe this line with you. Hmm? And it will be in your overall interest not to discuss this with anyone, ever. Hmm? Uh -huh. <laughs> How are you? Hope you're getting better. I'm getting better. So what's yeah. happening in the company? We just had a little issues with the Able Uncle Limited. But not to worry, that has been sorted already. Oh. As a matter of fact, I'm here with the audio version of the proposal and I would like you to review it and give me feedback. Oh, okay. Um, where is it? I copied it into a flash. This is it. My princess, please permit me to wear you this flash. I feel it to be safe there so you wouldn't misplace it. Go ahead. You can listen to it at your own convenient time. Okay, uh, that's very good. I'll listen to it and then get back to you. That's all right. Ma, I wish you a speedy recovery. Everyone in the company misses you. And I miss you all. Please send my regards to them. And don't forget to tell them to put in more efforts in the company. Okay. It's not just the royal families. That company belongs to all of us. If the company goes under, that won't be a good thing to be seen in anybody's profile. We won't let you down, I promise you. Good. So let me see the file for um, Adams and Eve Company, please. Good afternoon, sir. Mr. James Madoka, the manager. I can see you on your way out already. You're right. I came to brief the princess on the recent development in the company. Hmm. See, please, do not disturb her with unnecessary issues, okay? The princess needs all the rest she can get. Just. Bring all those stuff to me. I can handle it. Okay? Sometimes we need a signature. And we need an input in the key decisions of the company. Mm. And considering her present condition, you still think that she's capable of handling such stress? Huh? The princess is a strong woman. From our conversation in there, she doesn't sound broken at all. Mm. You're also a psychologist. I'll send you a mail. Respond immediately. All right, sir. I will do that, sir. I see. I just saw your manager on my way. Oh. I'm right here. Oh. Right here, baby. He was here to give me updates. Updates? Yes. 
you should let me handle these things for you. Huh? You shouldn't be stressing yourself all the time. But my love, you know it will kill me if I sit here doing nothing. Hmm? All right, your majesty. <laughs> You're not serious. <laughs> you look stressed. I guess you have been seeing a lot of people the whole day. Do I have a choice? Have you even eaten? Um. Uju! Have the princess had something to eat? Welcome, sir. No, not yet, sir. Not yet? My love, why? Are you starving yourself? No, I am not. It was too early for me to have lunch. But now that... Now that you're here, I'll eat something. Okay? All right, then. So, get her some fruits. Hmm? Send it to her room. Mm -hmm. Then later, make her something light. Okay? My love, mm. I have to take you to your room now. You need some rest, okay? Let me take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, now you follow my lead. Okay. Stand up. There you go. Don't worry, I have your stick. And uh, my phone. My phone. Yes. So. Oh, oh, that. Okay. I will also help you with this. <laughs> oh, please don't thank me. It is my duty, okay? So, uh, tell me more about what happened today. Well, um, Easy. Watch your step. Watch your step. Thank you, Jamie. Yes. Hold on. Let me shut the door behind us. Give me details. What could this bad spirited Claudio be discussing with the manager? I don't trust him a bit. I wonder why the princess is so relaxed and comfortable with him. I think I know what to do. She needs to be very careful until I'm able to unveil what this bad spirit represents. Has the princess had anything to eat? Not yet. Uncle Claudio instructed me to make something light for her first. Is that why you are smiling? Not really. It's just that I'm being carried away by the way that guy treats the princess. He really blows my mind. <laughs> And you really think you have a mind anybody could blow away? I would just ignore your insults. But see, Claudio really treats the princess with so much love, even in her condition. Hey, I just pray I find a man like him. Some people don't just know the solution to their sickness. Be careful what you wish yourself, young lady. Salt looks like sugar, but they don't taste alike and they don't serve the same purpose. But what has all this got to do with what I just said? Everything. Now do whatever you are doing here very fast and watch that guy closely whenever he is with the princess. If you suspect anything, just alert me. I don't trust him a bit. Oh, 
Ubeluzu. Why in this world does he not trust a good man? Why? My love, I know you didn't say it directly, but from your body language, I can tell you don't like my decision to come to your room. Come on, Claudio. You and I know I don't have a problem with that. It's just that I... Yes? Who's there? Come in. Oh. Who's there? Greetings, my princess. Oh, greetings to you, Beluzo. I didn't send for you. I hope there's no problem. Yes, I know you didn't send for me, my princess. I came to check on you. I have not really seen much of you today, so I came to know if you are really feeling very fine. Oh, oh. I I'm doing good. I'm fine. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, my princess, please, if you need anything, do not hesitate to call on me. I'll be right here to attend to you. Very well. I will call on you if I need anything. I beg to take my leave now. It's all right. You see, my love, this is what I hate about this young god. He's, he's so rude, so full of himself. D clearly does not, does not observe boundaries. I imagine how he walks into your room uninvited. Claudia. Does that make sense? You, you don't have to bother yourself about Obeluzu. Just calm down, okay? I, I think I, I, I need to be alone now. I need some rest. All right, my love. Um, that's fine. Uh, you can rest. I'm right here. I'll watch over you. Uh, no, I, I, I need to be alone. All right. That's very... That's very really thoughtful of you. You uh, have to rest, okay? Yes. Hmm? Uh, and please, tell Uju, no more visitors today. That's right. You need all the rest you can get, my love. Uh, okay. I'll leave you. You're forgetting something. What's that, my love? Forgive me. One more. Okay. My beautiful princess. I'll see you soon. Have a nice day. You too. And do not hesitate to call me when you need somebody. The audio version is in line with what you have just read out. Yes, my princess. Did you do what I asked you to do? To put that one in a separate file? Yes, my princess. Okay. Well, I think we're done for the day. You can shut down the system. Okay, my princess. And make sure the one you put in the separate file is the one you give to the manager when he comes tomorrow. Okay? okay? Yes, my princess. I've done it. All right. You can have it. Okay. And please keep everything safe. The flash drive. Everything. Please. Okay, my princess. Okay. Hello, manager. Yes. I received the update you sent. It is exactly what I requested. Thank you very much. What about the other request I made? Have you approved it? What gods? Get out! Get out of my phone! Idiot! I cannot approve. 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 Um, Mr. Manager, I am. Um, I know you are surprised I invited you here. 
Definitely, I should be, but I'm here now, and I'm listening to you. You know, the king referred to you as the palace keeper, which means that everyone should give you a listening ear when you speak. Mr. Manager, I want you to do everything possible to maintain the integrity of your office. Do not listen to that twat that calls himself Mr. Claudio. I mean, the one that parades himself as the princess's fiancé. Do not. Do not listen to anything he says. Why do you sound like this? You see, manager, I've known you for a while. And I don't think I can hide anything from you. To be frank, I don't trust him. Something in me tells me he's a fraud. Really? You need to be very careful with him. You need to watch him very closely, especially when he is interfering with matters concerning the company. What is going on here? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> I just called the manager to discuss um, about a uh, vacancy in the office. You see, my nephew is in their need of job and I'm just trying to know if there is any way we can fix him, any position we can probably fix him in the company. I don't just want to dis um, disturb the princess. And that's exactly what we're discussing. <laughs> you guys think I'm a fool, right? Right? Why would he say that? What is he talking about? Can you swear on the grave of the king that what he just told me now was what you were discussing when I walked in? Can you swear? Huh? Mr. Claudio, please, please. Mm. If you have any new topic we can discuss, please bring it up so that we do justice to it equally. We are very good at doing justice to topics. Exactly. And to a manager. Yeah, that's true. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, in the absence of any other new topic, I guess we've done justice to the original topic. And uh, I was about seeing the manager out before you came in. So, Mr. Manager, yes, can we? Oh, um, Mr. Claudio, I should be taking my leave now. Mm. Do have a lot I must be a fool to trust these people. Especially that Obeluzo. What could he be discussing with the manager? Does it mean the manager is taking advice from him? I need to do something before this guy ruins everything. The way you are looking at this guy, something tells me that you hate him so much. My upbringing abhors the word hate. I do not hate him. I just want him to define his limits and remain where he belongs. Does he ever occur to you that this guy will get married to the princess someday? You have to give him some respect. So says Uju, the general manager of this palace. Spare me the sermon. I am a man of the tradition. 
I do not go to church. I, I never said I was the general manager of this palace. Why will you call me that? You should bother yourself about that pally servant. He's just a lousy fellow. You need to concentrate on the main plan. Please. I get your point. But the next time he tries it, I will put him in the rightful place. And that's the gutters. My love, do not allow that riffraff take you to the life you left behind. We move. We move on. You have a point. Don't worry yourself about me, okay? I can take care of anything. Mm. Anything. Just don't worry. My baby. Yes, babe. You know, you are just the exact man that I prayed for. You're just the exact booty and brains I've always wanted. I'm always happy when you listen to me and take to my advice. And you always knock my brains out. Each time you catch me in the bedroom. Ow. Ow. You want some? Yes, baby. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. <laughs> no! Oh, yeah. Give me some booty. Give me some booty. There you go. Oh. Have some booty. Uh -huh. oh. oh, I'm sorry. Like it? It's nice. See, I told you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good you sit out sometimes. Hmm? You don't have to be inside all the time. Another one. Mm. 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 Mm -mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. You know, sometimes I, I do like to come out, but the stress is something else. I wonder what the palace looks like now. Trust me. The palace is looking beautiful as usual. Everything is squeaky clean. You don't have to bother yourself, okay? Hmm? And very soon, you will just be fine. Trust me. Now. I hope so. Watermelon coming through. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, oh. That's my girl. <laughs> Uh, baby, mm -hmm. there is something I need to tell you. Okay. What is it? Mm. About your manager. Mm? I think you need to employ someone to check Metis activities in the office. You know you're always here. You, know? you need someone in that office looking out for you, watching your back, reporting back to you secretly. Hmm? Why? The manager is a good man. Um, I don't think he would do anything to bring down the company. You never can tell, huh? Look, you're always here. And, and, and I feel somebody should be looking out for you in the office. Just give it a trial and, and, and see how it goes. Um, well, even if I want to employ someone, I, I don't know who to contact. Leave that to me. I'll handle it. Okay? I'll handle it. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. But make sure the person's salary shouldn't be more than 150,000 naira. Okay. That, that, that's fine too. That's fine. I'm, I'm just concerned. I need, I need somebody in there looking out for you, reporting back to you secretly. That's what I want. Okay. Okay? All right. Good. So can I have more fruits now? Oh, yes. I'm on it, baby. I'm on it. <laughs> mm. uh, the watermelon is coming through. Julie, Julie! Julie, Julie, Julie! Woo! Juliet, my lover! Juliet! 
with my amazing beauty. Juliet, the sweetness that sweetens my heart. Juliet, my pepper soup. Juliet, my goosey soup. Juliet, my tomato jars. <laughs> Juliet, my lover. Baby. I am so happy. I love it when my man calls me sweet name. Guess what? Baby, what? Come on, guess, baby. Come on. Tell me already. Come on, guess, baby. What is it? She has approved it. Approved what? <laughs> You've got the job and a hundred and fifty thousand naira salary per month. <laughs> copy of the file. Okay. And that's my own review. If you have anything else to add to it, let me know. I have equally sent you a voice note on WhatsApp. All right, honey. I'll go through everything and I will make sure I get back to you. Oh, good. Meanwhile, we just see the tea with C code limited. Wow! Yes. That is good news. Yes, exactly. Oh, this is good to know. This is so good to know. Congratulations to us and more wins to the company. Oh, yes. thank congrats. you. Congrats. <laughs> You're uh, welcome. Um, I must commend your efforts. Despite this condition, you have not related from your efforts. And I am praying and hoping that someday miracle will happen and you'll be on your feet soon. Thank you very much. I appreciate your prayers. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yes, um, one more thing. In two days' time, a lady will join you as your personal assistant. You know, the office work and everything is too much on you. So she'll come back here to give me feedback while you take care of the office. Is that okay? That's all right, now. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. Oh, you don't have to complain before the right thing is done. That's all right, now. I should take my leave now. I'll be waiting for the new staff tomorrow or in two days' time. Very well, then. All have right. a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you. And congrats once more. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is good. This is actually very good. Um, I, I can't see your face. But hearing you speak, I can confidently tell that you're very intelligent. Um, thank you so much, ma'am. I promise I won't let you down. Very well, then. Well, I, I guess my love here has told you everything. Um, yes, of course he told me everything. Uh, okay. My love, you don't need to worry. She's the best out there for this job. Oh. She will do a great job. Yeah. Okay, so you can start work tomorrow. <gasps> Good. Thank you so much, Ma. I promise I won't let you down. Thank you so much, Ma. You're so nice. <laughs> and you're beautiful. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. She's quite intelligent, Claudio. She is. Oh, yes, she is. She is. Oh, thank you so much, Ma. Thank you so much. And she speaks well, too. Uh, thank you so much. Exactly. She is quite eloquent oh. and intelligent. <laughs> Thank You're welcome, my dear. Thank you so much, man. Oh, Belu, so you called me. Uh -huh. Who was the girl with the princess earlier today? Who was the girl? Ah, the princess employed her. She's going to be assisting the manager at the office, and she'll be the one to be updating the princess on anything that happens in the office. This is serious. 
How did I not see this coming? How did the princess employ this lady? It's Uncle Claudio. She introduced her to the princess. And from what I see, the girl is very smart and intelligent. I like her. What is even wrong with you? You always like and see the wrong things because you are attracted to flash things. My headache is now, my headache now is how to deal with all this. Something is not right. I've been trying to deal with this cloud you now. They are two. <sighs> They are two. What does that mean? Go and attend to the princess. Just leave our Beloso with his troubles. Thank God you know. You are so impossible. First day at work. Oh my goodness, that manager, mm, mm, mm. he's so demanding. Like he wanted to kill me with workloads. <laughs> Honestly. Maybe you know it's what it is. Mm -hmm. I hope you're not distracted from your main aim of being there. Hey, boo boo. I got everything under control. That's my okay? girl. <laughs> Have you had something to eat? How are you going to ask me that? You know I can't cook. <laughs> It's so funny. Okay, that's fine. You know what? I'll just go freshen up and All then right. I'll fix us something to eat. Vegetable soup? You want that? I want that. Baby. You want the other one? Of course, you know what follows. You're so bad. Come <laughs> on. There's no cause for alarm. Mm -hmm. The princess is okay. Oh. Um, her blood level is okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Her BP level is okay. She'll be fine. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, doctor. Um, most importantly, yes. do not let her stress herself. Duly noted, doctor. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. All Thank right. you very much, doctor. You're welcome. Before the day runs out, I'll supply the rest of your drugs. Oh, okay. That'll be good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me take my leave now. Make a leave for you. All right. Okay, doctor. Yeah. Take good care of yourself. Doctor says I'm fine. You just need more rest. I have been resting enough. You're doing a nice job in this palace. Keep it up. Thank you very much, Doctor. I'm only doing my job. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a good job you're doing, but do take good care of the princess. Of course, Doctor. If you know that is my primary assignment. <laughs> um, speaking of which, Doctor, I've been meaning to ask you this. Can something be done to her present condition? I mean, you could recommend surgery or anything that will enable her to regain her sight. Of course, you know the palace can afford anything it will cost. <laughs> I understand what you are talking about. But the princess's condition is a different case. No surgery is needed yet. In fact, we are making our findings so far based on improvement in optic science. But we hope to come up with good news very soon. Please, doctor, please do. I am very optimistic something can be done. And um, don't rule out the option of miracle. The princess can experience a miracle, of course. 
I just wish she can just experience this miracle right now, right now. I, 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 I will be the happiest man on earth. All right, doctor. Mm. Thank you for everything. All right. I'll be on my way. All right. I'll give you a call later. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. You probably good job. <laughs> yeah. He even brought me some fruits too. Oh. Yes. That's nice. <laughs> so what do we say to him? Well, he should bring some more. <laughs> <laughs> I humble myself before the Princess of Ozalono Kingdom. Greetings to you, Tsubeluzi. How are you? I am very fine, my Princess. I can see you look better today. Oh, uh, yes, I am better. Well, I saw Dr. Benjamin leaving the palace. We are all optimistic that miracle might happen someday and uh, you will regain your sight. Thank you very much, Obeluzu. I appreciate. Um, my princess, don't you think you should go upstairs and rest? I am very, very sure you must be stressed. I will, Obeluzu. I'm just waiting for a new staff of mine from the office. She's bringing a file to me. New staff? Yes. I don't know anything about new staff. Nobody told me anything. Oh, well, I have a new staff. She will soon join us. Thank you. Abeluzu, you just said the princess needs rest. So enough of all these useless interrogations. And who are you to be informed of what happens in the company? Huh? My princess, please do not forget. If you need anything, just call me. And once you are tired, please, please go upstairs and rest. Okay, thank you. All right, my princess. Mm. Stop there! Claudio? Claudio? What was that? Huh? Were you ignoring me? Huh? Claudio. Do you want me to cut you to size? Claudio, Claudio, it's, it's... No, no, no. It, it, it's fine. Just, just let him leave. Let him leave. Oh, but... Oh, he's gone. It, it, it's okay. It's okay. Just... What is the meaning of this? Huh? You need to do something about this guy. He's becoming unbearable. Oh, calm down. Calm. What? Calm down. It's... It's okay. Everything is fine. But you need to explain your issues with him to me. What is it? Isn't it obvious? I don't like him. He, he, he feels like he's on top of the world. He's, he's too proud. He's too arrogant. And very disrespectful. Oh, oh, okay, it's fine. This kind of attitude leads to rebellion. He needs to be put in his place. Oh, oh, okay, I understand. But just give me a little time. When I want to deal with Obeluzu, I know exactly what to do. Please, come and sit down. Come. No, you sit down. You sit down. Sit down. Sit down. This boy doesn't know me. I am going to perforate him so badly. I am going to bisect him comprehensively until he becomes a specimen for tutorials in human anatomy. The files. This is the place you will sign. Here is the pen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
You know what? On a second thought, I'll, I'll sign later. I, I need to do some clarifications. Okay? But ma'am, I already explained it to you. The manager himself asked me to bring them over here. It's okay, darling. Like I said, I'll sign them. I just need to clarify some things. The pen. Uh, oh, the pen. My love, do you need my help in doing that? Oh, no, it's okay. It's fine. Ma, just, this is just the place to sign. No, it's okay. Like I said, I will sign them. Kindly drop it with um, Uju. We'll take a look at it together later. Okay, I'm fine. You may leave now, Juliet. Okay. So, baby. Yes, my love. You're going to be here until I get to bed, right? Exactly. Right here with you. Right here. Oh. There you are. I love. Mm. Good. <laughs> Do you think she doubts me? Doubt? Nah. I don't think so. I think she's trying to show you how principled and strict she is in management. Oh, yes, she is. Mm -hmm. She behaves like someone who is grounded in management. Oh, she is. That's why her father gave her charge of the company. Even before he became sick. Are we supposed to be discussing our boss? Oh, what if we get caught? Come here. We will not get caught. Mm -hmm. So far, you see us. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Lipstick is on me. <laughs> what is it again? It's about this new stuff of the princess. You mean that's finance? Will, will you just keep quiet? Can't you just be serious in your life? Yeah, I'm serious. You see that girl? She has something with Claudio. And I'm certain about this. Those two are not being straightforward with the princess. Hey. Oh. Hey. Why do you like stressing yourself? I, I don't know why. Why? See. Let us concentrate on what gives us our money. Yes, we have to concentrate on our business and leave those people with their headache. What are you talking about? What I am talking about is that you are taking Panadol for another man's headache. No, look at the princess. At her age, she has inherited a multinational company. And she has everything at her disposal. What about her brothers in the UK? Do you work for themselves? And they are not even talking about the family business. So let us mind the business that pays us. I just realized that I've been wasting my time talking to you. But you, you, you know I'm telling you the truth. You know. Deep down in your heart, you know that I'm saying the truth. I don't even understand what is going on in this palace again. Why is Obeluzu safeguarding the princess like this? We all love the princess, but there is more to his protection. What is his business? Why is he not interested in making money? Why? Good evening, my princess. Good evening, Obeluzu. I didn't send for you. Yes, I know, my princess. But <clears throat> I am here to tell you something very important. Something I noticed. What is it? It's about your new staff, my princess. Oh. Juliet, 
You've met her. Now you know her. Um, well, I don't even know uh, Juliet is her name. So what about her? My princess, I have a strong feeling she's not loyal to you. She and your fiancé, they have something deep going on. But with the permission of my princess, I will be able to unmask whatever they have going on. Obeluzu, do you remember my last warning? This is the last time you will beam that useless searchlight on my relationship with Claudio. The next time you try such nonsense, I won't take it lightly with you. I remember my princess, but... But nothing. You may leave my presence. I am sorry, my princess. Sorry, I will just... Just leave! Go! Uju? Uju? I understand, Uncle. I know you ordered me to stop calling you to make deep rooted inquiries. But then, these inquiries are really very, very necessary. And you are the only person that comes to my mind. That is what you keep saying, Uncle, that I should concentrate on my job in this palace. See, my job in this palace was PA to the king. The king is no more. I feel something is not right in the palace. Okay. There is this girl the princess brought in the palace. Something in me tells me that she's in partnership with that bad-spirited Claudio. I just need you to confirm that for me. If you say so, uncle. But I still have my doubts. Very well then. It's you, Kunife. No. I hope this your visit has nothing to do with your politics. Well, no. By the structure set by Igwe before he died, the princess is not only in charge of the family business, she's also managing the kingdom's revenue. Are you comfortable with this? If only you knew the princess well, you would know how much she spends on the less privileged in our community. You will not be making all these allegations against her. It is not mere allegation, oh no. If the princess wants to be a philanthropist, she should use her personal money, her personal wealth to do it. I'm not using the revenue of the kingdom. That is the issue. Um, there are two different things. Chelo. Now let me put an end to this before it gathers momentum. Hmm? One. The princess mm. is a good person. A very good person. And she spends her money on our people in this kingdom. Now please, give her some credit and the respect that she deserves. <laughs> oh no. I was one angle. Oh no. <laughs> and when I'm open. Okay, ma. But then I will end you. I can see you are true with your briefing. And who are you? I am Obeluzu, the PA to the late king, the most trusted guard. The palace keeper, as named by the king, is in King Kenya Chibuenyoso of Ozalono Kingdom. Okay, so what do you want? Who are you? And what exactly is your mission in this palace? Excuse me? A palace guard? 
Do I look answerable to you? No, no. Who exactly do you think you're talking to? Now you look at this face. Take a look at take a look at this face very well, properly. Don't you ever try this question, asking me this question ever again. Else I will have you thrown into the gutters where you belong. Idiots. Useless PA. PA to what? Your hair. PA your hair. You are very stupid. People are PA kill you there. Hey man, what sort of stupid question is that? Asking me questions who are right, who are you? Are you okay? Are you, are you, are you normal? Are you, you're, you're not normal. Once they start defending themselves with bilateral force, then you know they are who you think they are. I am going to perforate you with utmost precision. I will not say anything until I've gone through the proposal. Listen to me. Going through the proposal is different from studying it. But trust me, I'll get back to you. Oh. Someone just came in. I'll call you back. Okay. Come on, princess. You shouldn't have caught the call. Well, I have caught it already. How may I help you? Well, I actually came to, first of all, to check on you and to know if there is anything I can do for you. Obeloso, please stop. I don't want this to be a recurring thing. Coming to check on me each time to know if I need something. If there's something I need, I know how to get to you. My princess, the truth is that checking up on you, doing anything for you, no matter what, is the only thing that gives me joy in this palace. So I want you to call me more often, anytime, whether it's necessary, whether it's not necessary. Just call me. Well, I'll remember that. You may leave. All right, my princess. Goodness, what is this? Is this supposed to be loyalty? This is actually choking. Ah! <laughs> Hold on, please. Just, just wait a minute, baby. I need to understand this. So, you're giving a go-ahead on my plans to deal with Obeloso just because he has shown you his true color. Huh? <laughs> okay. My Juliet, my love. I'm home, okay? Just come home, let's strategize. Hmm? Obeluzu is just basic to make you mad. You belong to a class where nobody from his family can ever attain. Just come home and we can plan, okay? Hmm? That's my girl. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, I got you. Now you know what I'm talking about. What did you tell Juliet yesterday? Huh? The princess's new staff. Who gave you the right to ask her senseless questions? Huh? 
you know, I'm actually expecting this. Let me ask you a question. Are you her new boss or were you actually her original boss or boot? What do you mean by that? Look, Mr. Cloud or Moon or Claudio. Whatever. Whatever you call yourself. It is very obvious the princess is blind, but if your sense of perception is too working, you should know I'm not blind. Something is going on between you and that Juliet. That is why she will have to come running to you just because I, the palace keeper, ask her a simple question. Why didn't she go to the manager or the princess herself? Why must she come to you? Why? You expect me to answer that question, right? I will, because I know you're a daft. In case you've forgotten, I am the princess's fiance. And in this place, around this palace, I have right over her affairs. That's why she reported you to me. I am Obelozo, the descendant of a blacksmith, the keeper of the palace of Ozalono. Do not come after me before the fire of the blacksmith don't see me back. Are you walking after me? Where is the princess? She's upstairs, sir. Okay. Is she up? Can I go in and see her? Um, I don't think that's a good idea, sir. She'll soon be here. All right. Okay. That's fine. Why is he here so early? Does he mean he does not have any work to do, as Obeluzu said. So how do we get along? It's not your job. It is my job, okay? okay? You have nothing to worry about. I will get it done. Good. You and your partner have to be of best behavior. We must get this deal. What is our court? 60-40. But Juliet, you know the rules. We are talking about 200 million naira here. It's either 50-50. Or no deal. Gregory, you are just greedy. You can't say that again. <sighs> Not a problem. Deal it is. But there must not be mistakes. No mistakes at all. See you then. Have you guys sealed the deal? Yes, tomorrow it is. Okay. But how well do you know the lady? Why do you ask? You know I hate working with ladies without class. Come on, gentle. Did you not see that girl? She's endowed with beauty and I'm very, very sure she has class. <laughs> Gregory, you know my definition of class goes beyond physical 
attributes. Mm -hmm. Advanced field deals requires intelligence. <laughs> and I hate working with ladies who can rock the boat. Gentle. That babe will shock you tomorrow. The deal has been sealed. Come on, let's okay. let's go. Hit the road. Yes. <laughs> I saw it too. All right, dear. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> and I miss you too. No, I miss you more. Truly, I do. Okay, take it. Who's there? Hi, oh. baby. Oh, Claudio. Yes, baby. Who was that? It's Stella. Stella? Yes. You remember Stella, my friend who relocated to Canada? Oh, Stella. Mm. How is she doing? Doing great. She's mm. fine. I see. Um, touch this. It's an envelope. Yes. What's in here? It's a sack letter. A sack letter. Mm -hmm. For who? Abelozu, your guard. You are not serious, are you? My love, you know there are real procedures here. You can't type a letter for anything concerning this palace without a palace letter head. I know all that. The letter in your hand was properly typed with a palace letter head. How did you get it? Oh, come on, darling. I shouldn't bother you with minor things, okay? I know my way around. So tell me, what's his offense? You mean offenses? So many of it, but I will narrow it down, okay? He is an embodiment of trouble. He seems to me like someone who will run to the labor union after being sacked, just to get the palace to continue paying his salary. So with this letter, he is fired and he cannot lay claims to anything. Uh, baby, why are you even asking me these questions? Or have a problem with it? I want him fired. Really? Yes. Well. What? Why? What are you doing? I will not disrespect my father in his death by firing a guard he hired. My father was the one who employed Obeluzu and trusted him until he died. Even with the things he ate, I will not fire such a man because of such flimsy excuses. So you cannot fire a fool that overstepped his boundaries? Huh? Well, Claudio, I will advise you concentrate on me. That is if you actually love me. And leave my father's trusted guard alone. Please, I don't want this drama right now in this palace. Please. You have a lot of balls walking out of me. I'm talking to you! Stand there! Are you mad? I am only a guard in the palace who is not qualified to be with the one who is more powerful than the princess.
Baby, what is it? You look helpless. What is it? She refused to fire the fool. What? Are you serious? I mean, she bluntly refused to sign the letter? Juliet. Oh. She actually tore the letter right before me. My goodness. Why? That she can only fire people she hired. That she would never fire those that were employed by her father. My goodness. Baby, this is not good at all. That fool seizes every opportunity to make me feel like he knows my plans. He needs to be getting rid of. No. No, 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 no. We need to get rid of him. It's time for him to go. No, babes. Forget about him. Listen. I have set up a deal that will see us making 200 million naira profit from that useless princess. Hello. Yes, baby. The money will be shared 50-50. So after the deal, we part ways with the guys. So my love, take a chill pill. This plan is bigger than that useless palace servant. Relax and sip some alcohol. Because we're about to become 200 million naira richer, baby. I got it, I told you. I got it all planned out. Sip on some alcohol, baby. My princess, I have studied this proposal that came in and I feel it is something we should consider. Um, Juliet, from what I gathered, this is a power generation proposal. We are into oil servicing. Why are we suddenly considering power generation? My princess, in this era of heavy industrialization of Africa, power generation is big business. The demand of power cannot be met by the government alone. This is why it got deregulated in the first place. The profit from this venture can hit the billion Naira mark in few years. I don't think we should discuss on this. I don't think we should waste time on this, my princess. Yes, we're into oil servicing, but there is absolutely nothing wrong in diversifying into power, my princess. Okay. I, I understand. Claudio? Yes. What do you think? Well, from what I know, Oil is going down. And a lot of people are leaving the oil sectors already. Okay. Power generation and distribution has become the big business. A lot of Nigerian homes and companies now patronize independent power generators. So why not? Let's give it a shot. And like we all know, very soon, cars imported into this country will stop using fuel. Exactly. Hmm? Uh, but the money they're asking for is too much. 200 million naira. That's a lot of money. Beth, you're worth more than that, my love. Look, the essence of business is to make profit, not leave the money in the bank. Um, it's okay. I'll have a discussion with the manager. And then we can kickstart afterwards. Uh, all right, my princess. Okay, uh, Claudia? Yes, I'm here. Um, you, you can hold on to it for she leaves. Okay, all right. Um, I'll do just that. Oh. Oh. Nobody will ever blame us for trying to better our lives from here. This princess is so rich and there is no harm in trying to take some millions. Mm-hmm. Relaxing here before going home. 
and the princess asked me not to leave yet. Uh, maybe she needs some more clarifications. I'm sure you can handle it, right? I'm only bothered with the angle of discussing with the manager. I mean, that fool may just ruin the deal. I was just thinking she was going to sign the papers and without involving the manager. Mm. I was, yeah. Baby, come on. Don't bother yourself, okay? Really? Yes. No reasonable person will throw away such a good deal. They will cave in. Mm. Just relax. I trust you. We're playing this game. <laughs> what kind of business deal is this? Why are they excited about it? Is there something stupid happening under my nose that I know nothing about? My princess, I would like us to hire a private investigator to look into the proposal. We can sign it, but to be on the safe side, we will wait until we get the feedback before we can approve any payment. You know, when my father hired you, he made no mistakes at all. He made the right decision. You have solution to every situation. We will do exactly what you just said. Thank you very much, my princess. You're welcome. Thank you for recognizing my little efforts. Oh, no, come on. Oh, well, your inputs are not ordinary, my hardworking manager. You're the one. It always comes out of the boss. Um, I am glad you are the one running things in the company. Oh, thank you very much, my princess. I think now I should be leaving. Okay, that's very fine. I, I will call you later so you can brief me on the private investigator. We'll come to a decision tonight. That's all right. I, I will send him mail this night. Okay. All right, princess. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, my princess, you see, I'm super excited. I'm actually very glad that you're doing this business with our company. And this is where the world is going. And I am very, very optimistic that we are about venturing into a venture that will be of a long run benefit for your company and our company. Oh, that's very good. Exactly why we are having this meeting. For three months now, my princess, we've been looking for a reputable company to do this business with. Exactly before we came across an article written about your company, the Chamber of Commerce. So we decided to send you the proposal. We are really glad that you decided to key in into this business. <clears throat> I'm actually interested in the specifics. Now, if the Royal Company partners with your company in the tune of 200 million Naira, what will be the profit in the long run? Oh, um, Claudio, they already stated that in the proposal. Oh, I know, Princess. I would like them to explain again. Well, that won't be a problem. Well, you see, this investment has the capacity of generating one billion naira in two years. Stop. Did you just say one billion naira? In two years? And it doesn't end there. Because it will keep getting bigger and bigger. Mm. Now you see why I said that we are about venturing into a venture that will be of a long run benefit for your company and our company. I see. Um, uh, that's very good. Mr. Manager, do you have any objections? Oh, yes. I actually have an advice. What advice? 
My princess, lady, gentlemen, I am very sorry for this unexpected interruption. But if the king had gotten this type of business, he would not sign it immediately. What will he do? What is going on here? Why are we listening to this fool? Don't you have something better to do in the kitchen? Go outside and wash a cow. His royal majesty, the SN King King in Achiguenyo suffers alone or kingdom. My boss of blessed memory. If he got this kind of proposal, business, or whatever, would have left it with the staff of the kings for three days. If it turns out that the business is linked to fraud, the staff would have forced the people involved to come forward and confess. That is what I want my princess to do. God damn! Can you imagine what this senseless illiterate is saying in a business uh, meeting? Claudio, Claudio, calm down. We don't need to raise voices. I, I think Obeluzu is saying something very important. I beg your pardon. Um, gentlemen, I I'll get back to you. Please. Okay, my princess. Waiting for your call. That would be fine. Thank you. We took our leave. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you. You will hear from us. Take care. Why? Huh? Why would you give the princess such a senseless advice? Do you know what you just did? You just ruined a business deal that could have given this family a, a, a billion profit in less than two years. Huh? And in three days you said? Who would have lost the business opportunity, you dummy? A business that cannot wait on the staff of the kings is not the business for the royal family. Quote me anywhere. Mm. Mm -hmm. My princess, I beg to take my leave now. It's okay, Obinus. Thank you. My love, my love, why? Why are you still keeping this thing around? Why is he still here? I want to be left here. You heard her? Off! Oh, let's go! Oh, my princess. Excuse me, my love. Leave it with the staff of kings for three days. How come I didn't know about this? Um, you see, manager, I had to do what I did because I felt that was the only remedy. Something tells me Claudio is the person engineering this business. I am just playing along. You know how much I hate to make people feel bad. Besides, the business would not have been possible because I ordered a private investigation on it. I would have waited for their feedback on the investigation before authorizing any payment. You see, manager, your competence and sincerity has never been in doubt. I always feel happy when I hear you sound this way. But you need to be very careful with your new assistant. I mean very, very careful. Um, thank you, Obelus. I'm as watchful as you are. It is very necessary. All right, manager. I will see you later. Take okay, care of yourself. All right, you too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Baby, baby, please. Just calm down. Down. I am just... I am not agitated. I am devastated. Judging from what happened back there. Yes. We have lost. We have lost. My goodness, we
we have lost. No, 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 no. Come on. We've not lost her totally. The princess can still change her mind. The princess doesn't look like someone who will go contrary to what that, that useless palace servant said. That guy has always been a problem. Claudio. Claudio, how do we pull this through? We need to make this money to move. I know, I know. But you need to take a chill pill. <sighs> Calm down, okay? Uh, you can't make them start suspecting something. Babe, I feel like ripping his flesh off his bones. All right, okay. Temper, temper, temper. It's time for us to think, okay? <laughs> we need to control our emotions and think. Yes. You're still upset. not calm. I'm upset. Baby. I'm upset. You have to calm down. Don't just mess everything up for us. Okay, can I have more? Everything is not all right. Of course, you know I'm not happy with the recent event. You need to fire that guard of yours. Look how he made us lose the deal. The offer must have gone to another company. All because of that Obelozo, or whatever they call him. That man, not even from my land. It's the only man my father would leave his cup of wine with, even when he needed to use the restroom and still come back and drink from that same cup. I have told you this before. I can't fire him without any tangible reason. Cloud, you tell me, where is your sense of forgiveness? Must you punish all offenders? Please, I don't want us to talk about this again. Moreover, Obeluzu did not even force me to take his advice. I did because if my father were alive, he would do the same. Trust me. Sometimes I wonder if you believe that I love you and want the best for you. I also want you to progress. And from what he just narrated, it is possible that he's even the one responsible for poisoning your father, oh. the king. I uh, know. It's not possible, for my father was never poisoned. The same man you're talking about is the one who stayed with the remains of my father a night before he was buried. If he had anything to do with my father's death, he wouldn't have survived that night. Do you trust this bastard? Uh, Claudio. This is a palace. You're not allowed to call anyone a bastard here. I am sorry, but you're defending him too much. Oh, well, I am not defending him. Listen, I just want the man I call mine to live above being petty. If you detest him so much, avoid him. But as for firing him, no, I would not do it. If he decides to live on his own, it is fine. Please, if you truly love me, Concentrate on me and leave Obeluzu alone. But he's middling in our relationship in a very, very terrible way. Listen, based on what I just explained to you about his relationship with my father, let him be. And please don't bring up this topic again. I mean, look at the way you're sounding. Angry. Because of who? Obeluzu. Claudio, please. All right. All right, I've heard you. B but... No buts. Can I have the apple now?
What else did you find out? Everything about that proposal are lies. The company is not registered. The contact number they gave to us is no longer connecting, even before the three days ultimatum they gave to us. Claudio told me already. He was even surprised to find out they were fraud themselves. We all are. I guess now we have a reason to apologize to Abelos instead of antagonizing him. Forget Claudio and his problems. So how is our new project coming up? I'm very well. The community is happy, knowing full well that this means more employment. Even though no one was with us yesterday. Oh. Good. We have to do everything possible to make sure that company starts working before the end of the year. Okay. I'm planning to diversify into producing new products, like making cheap cements from mud to okay. help us solve um, house deficit problems. That's a brilliant idea, my princess. <laughs> you know I'm at your service any time, any day. Thank you. All right, my princess. But well, you told me you were going to eliminate that, that, that fool. Why haven't you done it already? You know, I can make your life miserable. Why haven't you tried that already? Don't push me to the wall. Desist from interfering in my affairs. I will make every second of your life a living hell. I am a man of the ancestors. I stand with my chi. Mortals, no matter how deadly they are, cannot kill me before my time. But if you feel you can, everything he said okay eliminating him is out of the question huh? it's not an option so forget it let's focus our brilliant plan on liquidating the princess forget about Oberozu. forget about what why why should we forget forget about it no you need to rethink this this Stupid fool ruined our business and he's still going to do more. Calm down. <clears throat> the brain is not idle. I'm thinking. Huh. Look. The good thing about this is that they're not aware we're the ones that initiated the proposal in the first place. And you know what that means. It gives us the chance to strike again. And this time, harder. Hmm? Hmm. Mm. You're smart. You're smarter. I like it hard. Oh, I know you do. Mm -hmm. You oh, like baby, it? Baby, come you're... on. <laughs> no, no. You, that fool is just getting me on, on, on my nerves. Let's not go there again, please. I don't want to spoil my He mood. needs to die. He would die another day. Come on, Juliet. We didn't get to hear from you again. As it stands now, this particular deal is off. I will need you guys to lie low. I will call you when I need you. I decided to come here in person because one may not know when his or her phone is tapped. Ah, Juliet, we're very, very disappointed. But nothing much, okay? 
the, the, the need has been done. So we've moved on. All right, that's fine. Take this. Okay. This is for your troubles. All right. Thank you. All right. Call on me, okay? Anytime. I sure will. Right. I sure will. Please stay close to your phone. Juliet, call on me. I will, sure. Gentle, this is what she brought. I think we should just let her be. I listened to the rubbish you were telling that babe. Huh? That you've moved on. Are you serious with that or is this something you said to get me angry? Get you angry? <laughs> what was that supposed to mean? You ridiculed my capability by linking me with a lady who cannot set up anything. Ah, Gentle, what, what, what are you talking about? Were you not there? We were there when that useless, I mean, that stupid guard ruined everything for us. So why are you blaming the lady? Well, next time, if you want to get me involved, get me involved with people who can pull the deal. Huh? Look at who is talking. Gentle, don't get me angry, please. If you're this powerful, why haven't you bought a limo? I mean, G-Wagon, Lamborghini, call it anything. Is that supposed to be an insult? Call it whatever thing you want to call it, please. Move, let's go. Move here again, you won't call it. Here you have it. Thank you, darling. <sighs> Babe? Yes? We need to talk. About what? I notice you have been ignoring the princess to the extent of not picking her calls. Do you expect me not to react after all she did? My love. I feel you are overreacting. Overreacting? Yes. You need to go back to her. Before she starts reading useless and awkward meaning into your absence. Hmm? All right, I'll see to that. That's my baby. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Where are you going? Oh my goodness, sorry. I want to go get groceries for the house. You want me to come with you? Nah, enjoy yourself. I'll be right back. Don't miss me too much. Don't take too long. I don't. Woo! Look at what you have behind you. Well, 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 who do we have here? How are you? I am very fine. Um, how may I be of help? Well, I am here to see the princess. Well, the princess is very busy and she doesn't want to see anybody. Well, need I remind you that I am not just anyone. I am the secretary to the princess. So you go in there and tell her that I have something to discuss with her. And need I remind you that I'm not suffering from advanced glaucoma. I know who you are. The secretary, of course. And the princess is not in the mood to see anybody. So I advise you go back and come back tomorrow or a day after tomorrow or probably next week. I think next week will be cool. That's fine. The more I try to relax my suspicion, the more it dawns on me that I cannot.
Yes, who is it? Come in. Obeluzu, is my, that you? Yes, my princess. Oh. Um, have you seen Claudio around? No, my princess, I've not seen him. But your new staff was here. Since you gave the instruction that you didn't want to see anybody, I let her go without seeing you. Oh. Okay. You can leave. I called you to confirm that from you. All right, my princess. Obeluzu and his strict adherence to instructions. I didn't ask him to send Juliet away. Why would he do that? But it's all right. she asking after Claudio. If the idiot likes, let him born in hell. I don't know why the princess cannot discard that fool like the dead he is. The princess should be able to sense all his mischief by now. You are here. Is the princess looking for me? Um, no. I am the one looking for you. What for? Um, I wanted to ask if I should bring your food now or later. Would you? If I need my food, I will request for it. Um, sorry, I wanted to ask you something. Um, it's about Uncle Claudio. He, he has not visited for the past few days now. Hope all is well. Why are you bothered? I am not bothered. It's about the princess. She has been asking after him. Seems like she misses him. The princess will be fine and even better off without him. Huh? I, 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 you just hate that guy. I do not hate anybody. I just like placing people where they belong. 